Hi there, Mark here. Um, today we've got another video on Zebra. Today we'll be looking at Zebra's arpeggiator. Now, this is notoriously difficult to understand. And before I even start, I'm going to tell you now, the best way to learn this is to mess around with it and use it. I'll show you what everything does, but some explanations are a little bit esoteric and a bit difficult to understand, so... Um, I've tried to make it as easy as possible for you to understand, which I am sure you will. It's just some stuff, because of the way it's done, is a little bit strange and unusual. But that's not so bad. So we'll be looking at everything from step length, gait, voices, transposition, all of these sections here, and the art mod section as well. And just before we get started, make sure you do subscribe to the YouTube channel. That's the link there, just so that you don't miss any future tutorials, of which, if you've been following so far, I try to put up one a day. Okay, without further ado, let's get on with it. Okay, I've made this sound. I just made that patch for this, the purpose of this video. And we're just going to get straight into it. We're going to start down here in the bottom left. Now, most of this stuff's pretty self-explanatory, apart from these two. These are quite difficult to understand, but I'm sure we'll be able to sort that out for you. Right, so the app sync is basically the timing of the RPG. -er. So at the moment it's on 1 8th. And the easiest way to look at that is... There we go. So that's what it's doing. It's playing one note every eight. Let me just sort that out so that you can hear that. Well, not just hear it, but see it as well so you understand it. So one eight is doing this. And then we have one sixteenth, which is doing this. show you that on Zebra. So if we come here. Oh, first of all, sorry, I should have, I should have told you to activate the, the arpeggiator, you need to go to global and voice mode, select arpeggiator. Sorry about that. So now if we change that to 1 16th, which is this one here. Basically a note on every 16th. Obviously, if that was set to one eighth, then you would see this one a bit better. You can see that's playing a note on every eighth, every sixteenth, plays a note on every sixteenth, and every thirty second, plays a note on every thirty second like that. And just to show you that in Zebra. 30 second, and it goes all the way up to 64. Okay, next we have ARP order. Now, ARP order can be quite confusing because you think the, the combination of these two, are, it's going to go forward and back and back and forward and whatnot. The arpeggiator always moves from left to right. It always moves forward in time. Now, you've got two options under that, or by note and as played. Now, by note basically means that the notes are reordered according to their MIDI note number. Now, that's difficult to understand. So, the best way to do it is to, is to listen to it. So, if I play... I'll just come in here so you can see what I'm playing. So if I play a C, oh, let's just get that off of there. We don't want it up that fast. Just on eight, this will be fine. So if I'm in here and I play a C and an E, so if I play both of them together, C, E, 
C, E, C, E, C, E. So it's playing it. Now, if I play three notes, the art order is starting to change because the numbers are different. So what that means is each each note has a C, C number. So if I play the, th the two notes, C, what they're doing. Okay, you understand that, I hope. If I play three, so if I play, if I add an F into the mix, listen to this. So what is that doing? It's playing the C. It's just playing them exactly as they're played, actually. C, E, F. So it's playing them as they're played. Now, so it's playing them by note. And as played, is the same. It only changes really when you start to put additional notes in here. Now I don't want to make this too complicated. But, uh, again, as I said, the easiest way to learn this is just to, just to play it and figure it out and listen. And the as play, what the as played does is if I play the, if I play the um, the E first, then the C. It'll play. It's playing E C now. If I play the F, so E C F. It's playing E C it. So as played means. However you play the notes, so if you play the C first, it'll play the C first. If you play the E first, it'll play the E first. So if you play E, C, D, F, it'll play it like that. Whereas uh, the other option, the by note, will always put them in order. C, D, E, F. No matter what note I play first. So if I play the... The, the E, the F, the D, and the C, it will still play C, D, E, F. Oh, sorry, I've just tabbed that down up an octave. So no matter what order you play the notes when it's in by note, it will always play C, D, E, F, C, D, E, F, C, D, E, F, even if you play F, E, D, C, which I'll do now. Always reorders them to C D E F, so it goes by MIDI note. But if you play it as played, if I play F E D and C, it will play F D E and C. Okay, I hope you understood that. Maybe I can show you a bit easier here, perhaps. So this is what I'm saying. In by note, if you play C, then D, then E, then F, it will play C, D, E, and F. But even in by note, if you play F, D, C, and F, it will always reorder the notes to make sure that they play like this.
So no matter what order you play these notes in, it will always play back like that when you are in by note. It will always play back the notes in order, basically. Now, if you are in as played and you play C, D, E and F like that, it will play C, D, E and F like that. However, if you play F, D, C and F, it will play F, D, C and F. Or let's say F, D, C and like that. So it will play those like that. Wow. Right, okay. So I hope you understood that.